الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن وله أما بعد ما جاء بدرس السستر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another episode of a dua that every Muslim needs to know. So I was at a conference last year and a brother came up to me after the talk. You know, just poured my heart out, poured my soul out, and he comes up to me and says, "Bro, that talk was retarded." <laughs> and at that point, I couldn't understand what is this brother trying to say? Is he trying to praise me? Is he trying to criticize me? You know, what is he trying to do? And it was such an emotional state I just ignored the brother I walked on now eventually you know I met the brother again I asked him you know what did you mean by your talk was retarded like to me retarded meant something really bad uh, but he's like yeah it was, a, uh, it was a, a form of praise for you and I recalled something at that time which I said to myself which was something I had read in a beautiful book by Imam al-Bukhari called Al-Adab al-Mufrad you gotta pick this book up check it out and there's a chapter in this book called what a person should say when he is praised ماذا يقول الرجل إذا زكيه and there's a beautiful dua that the companions radiallahu anhum when they were praised they would say Allahumma la tu'akhidni bima yaqulun waj'alni khayran mimma yadhunnun waghfirli lima la ya'lamun that oh Allah do not hold me accountable for what they say about me make me better than they think of me and forgive me for that which they do not know of me now when you think about Islam subhanAllah and what a complete religion it is this is one of the manifestations of that perfection and that completion that Islam even teaches you what to say when an individual praises you that you want to direct all praise towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you say oh Allah do not hold me accountable for what they say about me and make me better than what they think of me and forgive me for what they do not know about me and the ending is very very important that especially when it comes to sins subhanAllah people do not see our sins regularly the predecessors used to say that if we could carry our sins and our sins gave a fragrance off no one would ever sit around us and thus is the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our sins do not give off a stench and we don't carry our sins in front of us but rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hides our sins and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hides our sins in this world and the hereafter so next time you're praised you know what to do but before we conclude here's an action item press the like button right now show me your love bidillahi ta'ala learn the dua Take care, all the best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yawma la yanfa'u maalu wa la banoon illa man atallaha biqalbin salim.